going on, everybody? It's Paul with another weekly ride home review. And this week, uh, I've got a special guest, Dan Hogan from Clattertron.com. Uh, we watched Black Panther. And that's what we watched. That. So first of all, let's start off with uh, what is Clattertron.com? Just give me a little synopsis on that's, what that is all about. Uh, that's where I publish my weekly web comics. I've been doing it for six years. And you can currently read my ongoing fantasy comic, Foxes and Boxes, there for free. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Well, speaking of comics and going right into it, uh, we watched a comic book movie. So, uh, uh, the Black Panther was directed by Ryan Coogler and stars uh, Chadwick Boseman, Danai Guerrero, Forrest Whitaker, Michael B. Jordan, and it's a uh, basically about uh, the character of the Black Panther, kind of facing some troubles from his past. Mm -hmm. Anything more than that, we're going to spoil it. But first of all, so. Uh, what did you like? What did you like about the, the film? I like, um, from a technical standpoint, the uh, art direction, production design, the, the world they created, like seeing Wakanda was a lot of fun because uh, I really didn't know what they were going to do with it. I agree. And, and I that, agree. that was a big, it was neat to see them create this hidden world within Africa. Yeah, I agree completely with that. They did do a great job with that. Uh, you know, the entire cinematography, that whole art direction. And of course, like I mentioned after the movie, the soundtrack was absolutely yeah. was great. And the cast, I, I, I don't know what to say about the cast. The cast was, they, they just cast it well. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, and the story, I thought, I thought the, the story that they had was, was, was simple, was strong, and they really carried it through. And, um, it really had some ups and downs with what the characters were, were facing and kind of like they questioned themselves, mm -hmm. they questioned their whole identity, and I thought that that was really strong um, yeah. uh, in, in my standpoint, uh, the way that I saw that. And uh, um, anything else that you saw? Well, I like that we finally had a Marvel villain that had some depth to him. Uh, the Killmonger definitely had a lot going on. He was very layered and nuanced, and you know, and it's unfortunately a rare thing for the Marvel films to kind of have that, you know. And so I, I enjoyed um, him as a villain. I thought he was definitely one of the better ones. I agree with that, and I didn't. I thought they found somebody who was mm -hmm. really good yeah, at Michael that. Michael B. Jordan. Oh man, was real good. He just really nailed it, and they really did a great backstory without fluffing it out too much on him mm -hmm. um any any things that uh you didn't really like i still think um some of the cg and this is kind of for some of the marvel movies in general doesn't look too great especially when they had uh, two characters wearing cgi suits fighting against each other falling through the air that kind of looks a little hokey at times but not enough for me not to like the movie it was still good all around you know you're spot on that was my that was my biggest gripe on that is some of the cg was a little iffy at points mm -hmm. and you're you know you get a little carried away with it and there's going to be a little drop off but but uh, all in all they take it takes place in different areas of the world but the world of wakana that they created was yeah there's really a there's a very um James Bond element to the movie. Which, <laughs> I, caught, I, I caught that too. I mean that in a, in a good way. Yeah. Um, yeah. The globe trotting and the gadgets and that sort of thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it. The, the there's a there's a scene in there. If you catch it, it reminded me of one of the scenes from Skyfall. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you know, and then like you mentioned, I, I noticed that as well, and that really plays into the can Idris Elba be James Bond? Hey, that's fine with me. He so, can be whatever he wants. Yeah. In my opinion. I, I agree with that as well. Um, so anything coming up, or uh, how, how, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? Or You can go to claritron.com or my portfolio website, danieljhogan.com. I'm also on Instagram as at claritron and on Twitter as at danieljhogan. And this weekend, you can see me for free at the MSU Comics Forum. That's at the Michigan State Libraries, uh, Michigan State University's main library, Saturday, 12 to 5. It's free entry, family friendly. Come on by. I'll be selling artwork and a lot of other great artists will be there too. Uh, thanks for stopping by for this Ride Home Review. Remember, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And until next week, see something cool. Take care.